Hey guys, it's Carl. So at Apple Park, just uh, finishing off uh, WWDC. This is one of our favorite days of the year. The big announcement, obviously, was uh, Apple Vision Pro, Apple's new AR or augmented reality headset. We'll start off with pricing first because I think that's a bit of a, a sticker shock or a shock price. It will be available. $34.99, so $3,500. And if you think about the price of individual units of say, an AR headset, of a 4K panel, of um, a computer, of an audio headset being a first gen product, and of course being Apple, as uh, that kind of joke goes, you're paying the Apple tax. It, um, I wouldn't say makes sense, but obviously we knew that it would be pricey. They kind of predicted it would be around that $3,000 to $4,000 price mark. We split the difference and it's, um, $3,500. With that being said, it's probably the coolest AR headset that I've seen. Some of the initial demos and some of the tap features, a lot of the um, functionality, you're actually using your fingers, obviously. You're seeing that in a capacitive function and uh, currently I haven't tried it yet, but um, I'm super excited to get my hands on. So if you're interested, shameless plug right now, sub, I will be uh, one of the first to get their hands on. So with the design first, I think we all know that Apple tends to make their stuff uh, kind of leading edge. They're the best in terms of build quality. So one piece of glass all around into one piece of formed aluminum. It does have a braided or mesh headset on the back for your head. One thing they weren't showing as much in the demos or even the ad that they made was that connective battery. So there is a cable that runs from the side slash the back of the headset to a small little battery pack, which you'll typically have to place um, in your pocket. And depending on your usage, you're gonna get around two hours of battery life before you have to charge it up. And if you are sitting at a desk, somewhere stationary, you'll probably have that plugged in. So it'll be a cable to a battery pack connected back to uh, another cable or a dedicated power source. There's two buttons on it, one to take photos of the AR view that you're looking at, and the other is the digital crown, very similar to the AirPod Maxes. So that crown can increase the environmental awareness. So you can choose to have more of augmented reality kind of consume you to drown out what's in actual reality, or you can scale that back to just be focused on um, the piece that you're looking at and still view the outside around you. The selection process or choosing actual actions within the AR headset is done by obviously looking around and selecting with your fingers. That's something that I haven't really seen. Most augmented reality sets use the addition of extra little handsets. I'm thinking of like the Oculus. Even something like PlayStation VR has the extra handsets, but this is all used uh, just with your own fingers and you don't have any extra device. So interested to see how that kind of works. Something new to this headset, which once again, I haven't seen before, is something Apple calls uh, EyeSight, where the actual glass becomes transparent when people approach. So you can actually see someone's eyes within the headset. So you can make eye contact, you can still connect, you can obviously talk to them, and it becomes uh, fuller or more opaque when they're more immersed in the AR world that they're looking at. And it'll be interesting to see like the adoption of those headsets uh, in the actual wild. Will people have them on with, you know, transparent mode on still looking around the regular world? I know that like Google Glass, you never see those on anymore. I'm sure there will be people walking around with Apple headsets, almost like a, a bit of a flex. Like, yeah, I can afford a $3,500 headset, just like people walk around with the AirPod Maxes. It's a bit of a status symbol, but AR glasses are still something um, that aren't fully embraced yet, but uh, this is Apple's first foray into it. Obviously, they're never the trendsetters, but when they implement something, they usually do it um, one of the best in, in the industry. The spatial audio system works off of two drivers, but even in a lot of the demos, they had people wearing, say, AirPod Pros or AirPod Maxes. If you're gonna use this thing on a plane, to, I guess, have a cinema-like experience, drown out everything else um, from being inside of a plane, you'll probably still want some form of noise canceling or active noise canceling headphones. The silicon on the inside, it's powered by the M2 chip with Apple's new R1 chip. So it's a combination of both. Their philosophy is always around a stutter-free or seamless experience. And that's actually what gives a lot of people a bit of a motion sickness when they wear uh, VR or AR headsets. It's that lag or a bit of hiccup between what's going on in the real world to what you actually see um, in augmented reality. So once again, that's something that uh, I'd have to test out a bit more in person here. We are only allowed uh, a hands-off view or I haven't got my briefing yet for actually putting the headset on. They were pretty strict on saying uh, you weren't allowed to touch or interact with the actual headset itself. It is running off of a new OS called a Vision OS. Think of that as a combination of Mac OS, iOS, all the different operating systems kind of combined for spatial computing. 
It's probably the headset that I'm looking forward to using the most. Like I said, I haven't fully adopted AR as part of my regular life, as part of my workflow. They actually mentioned if you looked at your MacBook or your Mac, you could pull that image up or your workflow screen from that Mac onto your AR view set and say, edit this video in technically augmented reality with stuff going on around you. You'd obviously still use peripherals like your mouse, like your keyboard, but it'll be cool to see how those all interact together. But anyways, super excited. This was your first look at the new Vision Pro by, of course, Apple. Make sure you're uh, subbed, follow along for more content from WWDC. But like I said, I hope you guys uh, enjoyed this vid. If you have any other questions, I'll, I'll probably be uh, hands-on first. Let me know what you want me to check out, and I'll catch the rest of you um, in one of my next vids. Peace.